hello everyone welcome back again so today we'll be making this stew i use in eating this rice and beans it was really delicious and yummy and if you want to see how i made it so easy stay tuned and let's watch this video in here i have some goat meat already washed so i'll add some thyme so next i'll add some curry powder in next i'll add some garlic powder next i'm going to add my seasoning so the next thing i'm going to add my onion so once I finish adding my onion, I'm going to stir everything together. So once I stir it, finish, I'm going to add, once I finish stirring it, sorry, I'm going to add my bay leaves. So now these are the peppers we use. I'm not going to be using tomato. So I have some sweet and red peppers. So I have onion, I have garlic, and I have sc scotch bonnet. I'm going to use my food processor to process this. Once that is done, I, add, I put a fry pan on my cooking gas, add some olive vegetable oil. So once that is done, when the goat meat was half done, I, had, I added some turkey wings. Now I'm just going to fry. Once I finish frying, the oil we need to use in frying, I'm going to add it here. I add a little bit of oil again. Now I'm going to add some chopped onions and allow this to saute for three minutes. Once this has, you can see how it is now, I'm just going to add the peppers we blended earlier. So now I'm just going to give this a very little stir. Make sure they are well combined here now. Once they are combined, the next thing we'll be adding is our Korean thyme. Now I'm going to come in with my seasoning. Sorry guys, it, I didn't actually measure anything I use here. I just use my eye to, you know, do everything. So I'm going to be adding some, some crayfish and stir everything again very well. So once I'm done doing that, the protein will go from the meat. I'm just the stock will go from the meat. I'm just going to be adding it again. So once I finish, I will stir it very well because the stock came with seasoning to see if I will still adjust the seasoning. I'm just going to stir very well and test for salt. So and for seasoning, but everything was okay, guys. And allow this to cook for like 10 to 12 minutes. Once, guys, it was 10 minutes. I was actually coming to stir it. So this is how it looks. You can see the stew has cooked a little bit. Not just that's cooked like 80% cooked already. So in here now, we'll come with the protein. I didn't fry the, the goat's meat. I only fried, just give the turkey a little bit of frying. Not deep frying, guys. So once I'm done, I'm just going to stir it very well. Make sure the stew, the meat and the stew now soak inside. So right now, the next step we'll be doing now is to allow this to cook for five minutes on a low heat. Just allow this to cook for five minutes on a low heat, guys. This was after five minutes. And there is oil floating on top of the stew. And I don't really need this oil at all. The next thing I'll be doing now, I'll be just be drilling out or removing from the oil we actually needed this oil to fry the peppers so the peppers will not get burnt that's why i added a lot of oil now we'll finish frying so i need to take off the oil and you can use this i can use i always use this one to cook maybe jello fries you know i just use to cook jello fries you know this fast jello fries in the house this is the oil actually used to cook it and it's so sweet as well so guys once that is done this is how it is now and i like the way it is so at this point i've already cooked my rice and beans and i'll be using this to step this down guys this video was very easy it wasn't it wasn't hard and you don't need to break your back and count to make this delicious stew guys just put one or two things together you are done and i actually love this stew because there's no tomatoes this is actually my one of my best stew guys i hope you enjoyed this video as i do filming please if you do do not forget not to give the video a thumbs up thank you all for always coming all of you that will be sharing my videos i want to use this opportunity to thank you all i appreciate you and if today is your first time you'll see my videos you're welcome and to all my returnees thank you so much on that day, i come your way next time you can join me if you're close if you are not close just inbox me your address i will send this to you, to you and so you taste how delicious and yummy this was thank you all so much until i come your way next time again stay tuned stay safe until then bye bye